So now in this video, we'll talk about abstract keyword. So we can use abstract in a class and abstract in a method. So when we talk about this concept of abstract class and ab abstract methods, we have to understand, I mean, what exactly it is and why to use it. So in this video, we'll talk about uh, what it is. And in the next video, we'll talk about how to use it. So what exactly abstract class is. So to define that, let me create a class here. I will name this class as human. And let's say in this class, we have a method called as eat. Uh, then we have some method like uh, public void walk. Let's imagine we have two methods. And if I create object of human, if I say human obj equal to new human, and now I can call those methods, right? But as you can see, I don't have any implementation for this here. I just have defined those methods and nothing un under it. So why do we need abstract class? So let's say if you have a class, you don't want anyone to create object of this class. I mean, this class is basically built so that in future someone will ex extend this class. I mean, I don't want to create object of human. Let's say if there's, a, there's another class called as let's say men. So class men extends human, right? Or class women extends human. So this human class is basically created is just to so that in future someone will extend this class. So I don't want anyone to create object of human directly. So that's why we can make this class as abstract because as you can see if you make a class abstract you cannot create the object of it and you can see we are getting an error here which says cannot instantiate the type human. So once you make your class abstract that means no one can create object of it. I mean it, you cannot instantiate the class human okay so when you make a class abstract you cannot create the object of it that's one let's say i don't want to define this method okay if you can also declare methods so instead of defining methods you can also declare methods and we can name this as abstract again why to do that why anyone will declare a method that's a different thing right but let's say if you want to declare a method you can create an abstract method so you can say abstract and you can write the method name Again, you cannot do that without abstract keyword. If you remove that, you can see you are getting an error because whenever you declare a method, it is compulsory for you to write abstract keyword there. So this method here will be called as abstract method. And whenever you have an abstract method in your class, it is compulsory for your class to be called as abstract class. As you can see, if I, if I say this, you are getting an error here. It says type human must be an abstract class to define abstract methods because if you have an abstract method in your, in your class, your class should be abstract. Okay, so it should be abstract. So point remember, whenever you have abstract method in your class, your class need to be an abstract class. And I mean, it is not compulsory to have an abstract method to create an abstract class, but if you have the abstract method, you need your class to be abstract. So you can use abstract keyword with class and with methods. So this is abstract method and this is abstract class. You cannot instantiate the abstract class. So we have talked about how to use abstract keyword, but let's say I want to create an object of it. So what we can do is we can create a class called as men and or man, let's say man and which extends human. Okay, so we have this class man which extends human and in this class it is compulsory for me. So if you if if your class extends a abstract class, it is compulsory for you to define it. So you have to define that method here. We'll say public void eat. It is compulsory to define. If you fail to do that, as you can see, if you if you don't write this thing, it will give you error there, which says that this abstract method is abstract here. When you when you extend an abstract class, it is compulsory for you to define it. If you fail to do that, your class will also become abstract class. And now I cannot create object of human, right? You can see that, but I can create object of man. So I can create a reference of human. So there's no problem in creating the reference of human. But when it comes to the object, we need to use man. Okay, so we have human reference and we have man. So even if you're, if you're a man, you, I can refer you as human. Uh, even if you are a woman, I can, I, think I can refer you with human, right? Both are humans, right? So we can refer the object with human, but the actual object is man. I hope you're getting stuff here. So we are, we are only talking about how to use it. I mean, why exactly we need that, that we'll see in the next video. So point remember, when you don't want to define the method, you can make it abstract. And if you have any abstract method in your, in your class, that class need to be abstract. Whenever the class extends abstract class, we need to make sure that we are implementing that method. Again, we don't have to touch a walk method because it is already defined. 
but it is something we have to we have to define right so it is declared here we have to define here and then we can create the object of human like this we can say human obj equal to new man we can create a reference of abstract class and we can create object of the main class and this class here man class is called as concrete class so human class is abstract class and human a uh, man class is called as concrete class so that's it that's a, that's how you use abstract in the next video we'll see why do we need abstract class